Good afternoon, Grizzlies. Today is March 1st, 2024, and here are your hosts, Caleb and Amalia. Good afternoon, Grizzlies. Welcome back to Gunnison Live. My name is Caleb. And I'm Amalia. Happy first day of March. Now let's get to the news. Today at lunch, the Pride pop-up shop is back. This time around, the Pride team will set up the pop-up shop in the plaza. So do whatever it takes to manifest Pride expectations, collect plot tickets, and redeem them at the pop-up shop today at lunch in the plaza. See you there. Me personally, I'm going to spend my pot tickets to get a few things today. Well, I don't have any pot tickets, but hopefully next time I will. You know there's only a few more that you'll be able to attend as a senior, right? Wow, you're right. Speaking of senior stuff, the next few items are for us. Are you a graduating senior with more than 100 community service hours? Well, if so, stop by and see Ms. Wynn about the VEP Community Service Scholarship worth $1,000. Remember, the VEP Community Scholarship is one of many scholarships that will be available to graduating seniors from now until the end of the year. If you're interested in all the free money you can get, be sure to ask your counselor the next time you see them. And for those of you who aren't able to take advantage of this opportunity, you can still apply for federal and state college financial aid. We're offering our final Cash for College application aid workshop next Thursday on March 7th, 2024. College financial aid experts will be here to help. Drop-in hours are from 5.30 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. in the Grizzly Center. Visit our College and Career Center Canvas course announcement section for more details on what to bring. You know what else is starting next week? Yeah, the community college workshops. Exactly. And if you need help filling out your community college applications, you can now sign up to attend an application workshop, which will take place throughout March in the Grizzly Center during select GLC days. Starting next week, you will have the opportunity to apply to Foothill College on Tuesday, March 5th, or to San Jose City College on Thursday, March 7th. Following this, students interested in applying to De Anza College can attend their application workshop on Monday, March 11th, followed by West Valley College on Friday, March 15th. Finally, in the last week of March, we will have Evergreen Valley's application workshop on Monday, March 25th, and Mission College on March. Friday, March 29th. If you're interested in attending one of these application workshops, go to Instagram at DCAC underscore GHS and click on their bio link, or you can scan this flyer's QR code to register and receive a GLC pass to attend. Keep in mind that you should only apply to one local community college. I'm really glad I don't have to take the SAT again this year. Yeah, me too. But for all you juniors who are taking the SAT, here's a video that can give you some insight. Play the video. Hi, I'm Rebecca Wang from Gunnerson Live. The SAT is on March 5th and 6th, so today we'll hit the halls and ask seniors on advice and ask juniors on how they are preparing. Ways I could study is asking my math teachers if they have any advice like what to look for when I'm taking the SAT and also my English teachers too. I'm using Khan Academy or Kaplan's or Barron's. As for studying, most of my classes pretty much prepared me for it, like my AP English class and all that. I found that studying in small, like digestible sections helps a lot instead of studying like everything at once. I took deep breaths during my test. That's how I managed test anxiety. Talking with friends helps with it too, you know. Sometimes you just need to vent about stuff and friends can be there to help you. Eat good food beforehand. Get a good night's rest. Eat. Make sure that you're well fed, well rested, well hydrated. I'm honestly just hoping that the servers don't crash. I feel like I'm going to do better on online just because I have a better track record on online tests. I think the digital SAT will be easier, hopefully, because you won't have to bubble out answers and I'm, I'm feeling more confident than the paper one. I'm interested to see how it is compared to what I've heard from people that have already taken the physical version. My advice would be to take it easy, take your time, and when you don't know, just guess. Go with your gut. I use fee waivers and if costs an issue, you can just ask your counselors for fee waivers. Hey, good luck, juniors. Mr. Castro here. Uh, you're going to do really well on the SATs. Get it. Good luck, juniors. Good, good luck, juniors. juniors. Good luck, juniors. Good luck, juniors. You got this. 
This is Rebecca Wang from Gunderson Live. Good luck, juniors. Now let's go back to the studio. There is a new program at Gunderson that started this morning called Sweat and Smiles. This is free to all Gunderson community members, students, staff, and family. During this program, the Gunderson Gym will be open for basketball, futsal, and yoga every Wednesday and Friday mornings from 7 to 8 a.m. The locker rooms will be available to change or freshen up afterwards. Sweat and Smiles will continue every Wednesday and Friday through the last week of school. This is a great opportunity to get the brain and the body ready for the day, and the best part is you can be there with other people. All are welcome. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Gutierrez in the PE department. And on a completely unrelated note, the Silicon Valley Princess Project is back. This nonprofit organization is 100% volunteer run and provides free prom slash graduation dresses and accessories to teens in the Bay Area. Please scan the QR, the QR code on the flyer on screen for the March 2024 dress giveaway days. Remember, not having a dress should never be a reason to miss prom. This year's prom will be on Friday, April 26th, so you have plenty of time to plan and prepare. And in sports today, we'll be holding our Gunnison Athletics College Signing Day at lunch in the Forum. We're excited to recognize seniors Owen Smith, committed to Loyola, Loyola University in Chicago for volleyball, Kiara Anima, committed to San Jose State for soccer, and Brianna Bartek, committed to Linfield University for softball. Come out and celebrate your Grizzlies today during lunch. The ceremony begins at 1.30 p.m. Lastly, if there are any girls out there who are thinking of playing softball this year but didn't get to try out, it's your lucky day because the softball team is looking for more players. So if you were thinking of playing softball this year, please see Mr. Chu ASAP. Unfortunately, today's baseball game has been canceled due to rain, but that wraps it up. Be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube page at Gunnison Live and follow our Instagram at Gunnison underscore live. Stay dry this weekend, Grizzlies. Thank <laughs> you.